What's going on, everybody? It's going to be kind of like a two, maybe three part mail week video just because I got stuff in here I need to send out the PSA to be graded. So once this little piece ends, it'll probably continue with some whatnot pickups and anything else that's really coming in the mail this week. So just everybody's tracking on that. So got a lot of select basketball breaks. Um, I got a stack of stuff on the side here I got to look at, but this is more the the bigger stuff out of it all, or the better stuff, I should say. I know, I know it's basketball. Wildcat, ain't no football in this. Just going to tell you now, no football cards. <laughs> um, Kate Cunningham, red, white, and blue, or tricolor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I believe it's a silver, a ding, another Cade silver, uh, scope, shea. Morant, Unstoppable, Dang Tricolor, Carl Anthony Towns, Blue Die Cut, Jovic, uh, Rookie, I almost said Joker, Joker but um, Silver Rookie, Jalen Duran, Rookie, I think that's Premier, nope, Concourse, Jalen Duran, Silver, Egan Murray, Rookies, Ivy, Blue Die Cut, another Ivy, another Ivy, Jalen Williams, Tricolor, times two. Kind of weird. They were in, I think, the same box, as a matter of fact. Jalen Duran, Purple Auto, Rookie, RPA. We're getting better stuff. Jalen Williams, Patch. Jalen Williams, Silver. Jalen Williams, Tri... Oh, that's the wrong Jalen. That's the guy with the, the Y. We don't want the Y, but he's a tricolor. Fred Van Fleet, Jersey. Chet. This is cool. This is the, uh, I just lost the dang thing on to it. Anyhow, it's out of 25. You guys know I'm talking about the multicolor. Wish I could think of it off the top of my head. It's been one of them days. But it's out of 25. Good, nice three-color patch on to it. I can't remember if he said they were, these were game-worn or not. Not associated with any player game or whatever. Okay, never mind. Chat, more chats. Then here come the better stuff. Ray Allen in flight. Pretty cool. Zebra, Case Hit, Josh Giddy, Courtside. Hollow. Hollow. Hollow again. Oh, look at that, Paulo. No, it's OC left and right, but this is out of 49. Bachero, pretty big card. And then a blue die cut. I think these are out of one. No, 249. 249. So those were all the basketball. Had one eBay pickup. Story behind this eBay pickup was a friend of mine sent me a text. Said, hey, I know a guy selling this card. And I said, okay, I made an offer, all right? Because I figured where it would be worth out of based off the value. But PSA 8 did like, I want to say it was 348 or something like that. So I was thinking, well, it has to be worth a lot more than the PSA 8, even though it's an SGC Grady card. Make an offer, never hear back. I look and it's up, he had it up for the longest time as $9.99, as in $999, I should say, uh, auction. Nobody bid on it at all. He put it at a dollar, I'm like, I'm going to watch this. End up winning this for about 52% of what I offered for the card. SGC 1010 Gold Select Undertaker Autograph. I ain't gonna lie, um, because you know this guy's been around for a while. Eventually, he won't be around anymore. He will. He will. He is Hall of Fame, but his memories, legacy, and everything will always be around for a very long time. Almost like Hulk Hogan, uh, Ric Flair, probably your bigger names. I mean, where people still remember like Bruno San Martino, even though he didn't have the hype of all the uh, social media phases, all that. But pretty cool. Five out of ten. Like I said, pick up for, I think it was 52% of what I offered him for the card originally. And I was like, well, I just got a lot cheaper. That's going to go on my PC, guys. For right now, unless I decide I want to get a bigger Undertaker Auto later on. Um, I'm going to download some of you guys. Now I've been picking up some of the WWE guys, their autos throughout the last probably three or four years. Like Hogan, Flair, Sting. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones I picked up. The Trish Stratus. But that's just more of like 
you know, my younger years and stuff, growing up, watching this stuff, knowing that a lot of these people don't sign as much as they used to onto certain things. And just cool to have a little peace, you know, down the road. And heck, one day, when I call it all quits, one could sign in person is going to have so much fun putting this stuff up. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're about to hit the other part of the video. All right, continuing on with part two of Mail Week. There was one card hasn't made it in, should be in tomorrow. That'll be the third part of this video, but this is just three quick ones. And it's all football I today. I haven't had it up yet. Once I put it now, up. Now, I go. did. I had this still on. Let me mute this. I forgot to grab the other two cards, but they went in a uh, deal down to Florida. There was a Drake London Contenders PSA 10 rookie auto and a Brock Purdy out of 25 from Optic. Along with it, I picked a Howl auto up. This is out of Obsidian. This, those three were all off indie breaks, off of whatnot. The Howl's out of 175. The other two came in the mail from uh, Hard Vision. Any Pickett Auto Pro Set? I know, I know. One, it's a Leaf product. Two, it's Call of Juni. But I got into a Raz, and along with it, Blue Reactive Prism NFL Debut SGC Ten. This is going off to DC and a stack of cards that I got to go out. The next show, guys, I will be at. Just so you guys are tracking, is going to be the Louisville show here in two Saturdays from. What after this comes out. So I want to say that's like the 22nd-ish offhand. And I'll be buying there as well, too. Got a lot of stuff out of PSA. So hold on. I got one more card to show you guys. And it's coming up right now. All right, guys. Last pickup just came in today. Got this off of Facebook. Um, little contest that I won, we'll just say. PSA 8 tops Mario Lemieux rookie. I know a lot of people are going to be like, that's oh, a PSA 8. These are actually really hard grades. And before anybody asks in the comments, I do have a 10 of this card. But, and I bought it a long, long time ago. <laughs> it actually needs to be updated for the um, label up there. That's how old it is. But I, I figured what the heck uh, to take a stab at this. He doesn't sign a whole lot compared to what he used two years ago. Yeah, I remember, I believe it's a Don Russ Elite Series a Lemieux had. What was that? 1,066 autographs of him that was produced at one time frame now. Him, Crosby, even Ovechkin. That stuff's not plentiful when you start looking at autographs coming across the board. <clears throat> but figured add this out to the collection for right now. Um, I just happened, like I said, when I start looking at these guys, I still picture a lot of these old timers. <laughs> I'm calling them old timers now. From their time, from when I was a kid, and remember what they look like. And then, you know, 30 years later or so, you see a picture of them out there, and you're like, wow, that dude got really old. You guys are going to be talking about the Nolan Ryan piece on to the Joe Montana, John Elway, Dan Marino. Well, Dan Marino, we see kind of a good bit on. But guys are just getting older and you start thinking like, man, this dude was 20-something then. He's almost now 60 years older. He's in his 70s now. It's kind of crazy when you just start thinking about it. Guys won't be around forever. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the mail week. Uh, I should have a few items coming in next week for a mail week. Not a whole lot until I actually get set back up out on, what is that? I think it's August 22nd, Louisville. I've already pretty much had my three displays filled now. So as stuff comes in, it's like, oh, you know what I want to sell, rotate out. What don't I want to bring with me type deal. All right, guys, have a good weekend. I will catch you next time.